Christians who live in America today look around and they see a culture that is kind of rapidly changing and it's rapidly becoming anti-Christian. And we, the natural question becomes, what do we do about this? How do we engage our culture and bring about lasting positive change? And this can be a dangerous question because when we start asking that, we can start losing sight of what the major things are for the Christian faith. Because the Christian faith is not primarily about politics. It's not primarily about activism. While those things are important, that's not why Christ established the church. But the church does have something to say to those areas of life. And the church should speak into those areas of life after we get the first things first. So we have to understand that culture and politics are downstream of the church and of the family. That is, they flow naturally out of what the church is doing and the health of the church and the health of the family. So as we look into the many problems of our society, specifically we can look at the problems with pornography, with uh, drugs, with mass shootings, with high divorce rates, you name it. You look at the problems and we can trace those back to the sickness of our families, the weakness of our family units around the country. If we have strong families, we will have a strong society. But as the family decays, well, that shows up in every area of society. So what can we do as Christians to bring about lasting change? Well, the first thing is we need healthy churches. And by healthy churches, I mean we need churches that actually preach the word of God. We have way too many churches that exist, and they exist because they're popular, that don't spend a minute talking about God's word. Well, they do, but they rip it out of context. But really, it's just about making you feel good, maybe improving your life a little bit here. But there's no robust theological preaching of God's word and of the gospel. And a church that doesn't preach the gospel isn't really a Christian church anymore. So what we need is healthy churches that preach the gospel and apply it to every area of life, that declare Jesus Christ is Lord. He rules over all, that he died in the place of sinners and rose again in victory over sin, death, and Satan. We need churches committed to that message, and as they preach that message and bring it to bear on society, God will will bless that. Second, we need to invest, if you want to have lasting change in society, you need to invest in your family. We often want short-term solutions. We want to think about the next election cycle. We want to think about the next, this activism that we can do. And again, those things are important, but they're not primary. We can't put the cart uh, before the horse. It's not an either-or situation. You need to impact the next generation of Christians. And again, you can't believe uh, for your children, but you can raise them up in the fear and the teaching of the Lord. You can teach them the gospel. Your first mission field family, parents, grandparents, are your children. And as we invest in the family unit, as we build strong families built upon the truth of God's word and the gospel, that will have lasting impact. And as families get healthy, churches get healthy, and as churches and families are healthy, the society is lastingly impacted for the good of Christ. So what should church, what should Christians do as they look around at the decaying society. Well, one, invest in good local churches that preach God's word unapologetically, be involved there, serve there, reach out to those who don't know the gospel and share the good news. And two, invest in your family. Build your family upon the truths of scripture, invest in that next generation, and then teach them to do the same for the following generation. And slowly but surely, as the gospel takes root, change will come.